We are back with our friend Maria Walls. It's great to see you. Great to see you too. We have to include our um, our audience on at least a little bit of what we've been talking about. We've Absolutely. had a great time sort of talking about um, Beaufort County policies, procedures, departments, taxes. Yeah. It's been absolutely fascinating. I think one of the things that's gonna be interesting to talk about today is policies and procedures, how you all do that, and really to create the culture of solution finding rather than problem. Absolutely. I mean, in any team, it's so important that that exists, but as a citizen of Beaufort County and probably most of our of the viewers today, I mean, we should absolutely demand that in our government. And, and to add or at least elaborate on what you've just said, the treasurer's office is an elected office, so I'm elected to okay. be your treasurer. I did not know that. Yep, okay. elected four years at a time. Okay. So I'm one year into a four-year term, and I am amongst Beaufort County's departments, but I'm not Beaufort County. Okay. So as an elected official, similar to the county auditor, the sheriff, the probate judge, or other countywide elected officials in Beaufort County government, we have the autonomy to run our offices in a man the manner that we see fit, and it may not always be precisely in line with what General Beaufort County government is doing. Got and it. what we're working on behind the scenes for our taxpayers is absolutely one of those things. So from a transparency point of view, what is something that your department does that may be a bit different, and again, you're elected, is something that you're really proud of, that you stand for, that reflects the culture that you're trying to create within that department? So it comes from, and look, I'm not perfect. No one, no one is. Right. But I am moral, ethical, and I'm a hard worker. Mm -hmm. And so is everyone working for me. That's what you said. And you said your group is unbelievable. I have the greatest team on the face of the earth, and it is not luck. It's not fortune. It is because we've worked very hard, and we have all individually chosen to be that kind of team. Mm -hmm. Why? Because what do we think when we think of government, right? If I said you have to go to DMV when we're done this conversation, are you gonna be excited? No. No, you're not. You're gonna be like, I wasn't gonna say the word. You're not gonna be happy no. that you have to go there. Well, that's the stereotype we all have, myself included, mm -hmm. we all have of government, but it doesn't need to be that way. Okay. And what I love and am so passionate about is defying that stereotype. And what we've built in the treasurer's office shows our customers and our taxpayers every single day that that's possible. What our stereotype is of government does not need to exist. How do you do it specifically one thing today and we can build on this? So one thing today, it is very important for people to be set up for success on a team. Okay. You cannot say go serve the public and then have no instructions, no guidelines, no expectations. And look, if you don't have consequences for violating those expectations, then you shouldn't have expectations at all. Well, I your agree with that. You know, your rules are what you tolerate. Right. That's your criteria. Well, for a very long time, we've had documented procedures for everything we do in the office. You know, like you type up, this is what you click, this is yeah, what yeah, you yeah. do, this is what you say. and. Um, you know, we need to make sure that we're thinking ahead. The job market and the employment market right now is not one where you can retain employees very easily or hire new ones when you need to. I need to create consistency for my taxpayers. Got so it. So what we're doing is ah. we're transitioning all of our, I'm gonna say kind of old school Word document procedures into a cloud-based interactive platform where I can track every procedure by job role, who's done it, the quiz that they took to make sure they understood it, and we created an acronym called the PATH. We, we um, process, so we have a procedure yes. that's updated. A is authority. Okay, is this in alignment with what you're doing for your job? Training, I'm gonna sit down with you. I don't care what your training style is. I'm gonna sit down with you and I am going to give you the procedure. I'm gonna make sure it's within your purview. You're right. set up for success to yes. do it. And then I'm gonna train you one-on-one. -on -one and answer all your questions. And then I'm gonna say, okay, run with it. And we're gonna want, we're gonna monitor. And then the H is, how's it going? So we gave you procedures, we made sure you had all of the tools necessary to do the job, we trained you, and now we're gonna check in with you. Are you, do you, how's it going? 
So here's what I hear, and I know in the last two seconds, clear is kind. It sets us Absolutely. all up for success. Absolutely. You're amazing. Can we build on that platform next time you come? Absolutely, I would love that. Stay with us, more to come on Carolina Women.